right, here we are. Uh, yeah, we're back on the bike making a video. And uh, I guess I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. Since obviously I've gone missing for a little bit. A little bit of a break from making videos, some time to think things over. And uh, I guess that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So the last video I made on the KLX 300 off-road, as you guys can see, I haven't been on the street in a while. That's because I kind of prefer off-road riding. I don't like being with all the other uh, idiots on the road. Street riding on a dual sport really isn't that fun. Maybe if I had the 450 Street Legal on a Supermoto setup and get that raw acceleration out of corners through the twisties, it'd be a different story, but... I don't really enjoy street riding that much, but anyways, last off-road video on the KLX 300, my friends and I kind of had a deep conversation about where I want the channel to go, what type of content I want to make, and uh, at the time it seemed like we were just, you know, screwing around, fun and games, but as I thought about it more and more, I'm like, what? content do I really want to make? What do I want to be known for? That kind of started off this uh, little break that I had, among other things at least. So, I actually have content filmed, I just didn't put up any of the videos. I have Doom's video filmed with the KX, with the Raptor, I think I might have an off-road video somewhere in there too. But the most important video that you guys probably care about, that I ended up not posting because I thought about it some more. Basically, I made a video talking about how I am going to sell pretty much every bike. And start over. Pretty much sell everything except for the Raptor. And that includes my car, which I'm sure some of you guys would be happy about. And uh, I still plan on selling my car, but... I'm going to get another Corvette. Uh, I can't live without a Corvette in my life. That's going to be a bit bittersweet. That was my first car. But sometimes things just don't make sense to keep financially. And uh, I'd be upgrading to a different Corvette. much of a child to ride on the street anymore but my plan was to sell the kx450 sell the klx 140 and even had thoughts about selling the 300 to start fresh get new inventory on the channel but then it kind of relates to my next point of i don't want to be the guy who's just known for a single bike making reviews on a single bike. I don't want to fall into that trap because I see how things work out and honestly, my channel is always about having fun. Yeah, I love being the KLX guy on YouTube. When people got questions about the KLX, they come to me, ask questions about it. But my brother told me that he really doesn't want to do the KLX stuff because uh, for that reason I'm kind of the KLX guy on YouTube. It's kind of hard to get a channel going as a little brother with the KLX when you have me as an older brother. And he told me that he's really looking to do car stuff which I totally support him in because I started off with cars too and my fallback will always be cars. It's the last thing if I could only have one toy, it would be a badass car. Oh, 
Man. That's what I get for practicing my stand-up bouncing techniques. that video talking about how I was pretty much going to sell everything and I want to start fresh with new bikes, new car, still going to start with a new car. But then I started thinking about what do I really want to be known for? Doing the reviews is great, but at the end of the day, like I said, it's about having fun and uh, these are my toys at the end of the day and uh, I realize that's kind of what I want to focus on is just having fun with the toys yeah I'll put out some good information about the KLX and the KX that's not really a bike people are just looking to get information for there's only so much you can do to a 450 the 450 videos on YouTube people really just want to see you ring the absolute piss out of them and ride them to the limit and so, I mean, there's only so much you can do to a bike. Bars, pegs, gas tank. But, like you haven't seen that done before. The k a little bit different story. There's the big bore, ported head and all that. And I'm sure you could do that to a 450, but like the 450 really needs any more power, let's be honest here. Yeah, buddy. The guy in the Mercedes is not happy. This is why I don't ride the streets. <laughs> I'm too immature. sell what I got, start over with new bikes, and basically do the same thing over again. Gain an audience because people are looking for information on those bikes. I figured I'm pretty blessed to be in the position I am in, and I have the toys that I want. I have a 450 dirt bike. I have a 450 swap. I have a custom project going. figured focus on just having a good time with what you got because at the end of the day if you're not having fun then what are you doing in the first place and like I said don't get me wrong I love being the KLX guy to put out information for the KLX if people got questions hit me up to sell the 300 and the 450 and get like a KTM 500 or an FE 501 that would satisfy my uh, adrenaline rushes on the street like right there I probably would have gotten up to like 95 like that but I guess that's uh, I guess that means That'll have to make the KX450 Street legal and finish the KLX450 build. Who knows? Maybe I'll just shove the 351 motor in this thing when it's all built up 
and then put this motor in a KX250 frame. I really miss the 351. The 351 probably had just the perfect amount of power for a bike like this. But yeah, so uh, the plan right now is to sell the KLX 140, get a CRF 110, sell my Corvette, use proceeds from that to get another Corvette, and upgrade the bikes further on the channel here and do some extreme stuff with them because that's one thing I would like to be known for is if you got an idea in mind and there's no bikes out there that will satisfy your needs go ahead and build it yourself if there's a toy you want you can't afford one find a way to build it yourself just doing extreme builds having fun with them that's what I want to be known for I put so much stress into thinking about trying to find a CRF 300L to do a comparison with. I can't find anybody around here who has one. This guy waving me by, what? Anyways, one of my buddies at the dealership said he had a friend with one, but so far I haven't heard anything. So when we find one, we'll have to do a comparison, but like I said, we're just gonna be having fun on the bikes. And oh man, I can't wait until my brother gets his license. Next month, we're gonna do some fun stuff with him. Make some dual brother vlogs. That'll be that'll be a blast. And uh, lastly, I took a much needed break to get some things figured out. Nobody's life is perfect. Mine is no exception. Everybody has mental challenges that they need to work through. Specifics are for another video, but. Sometimes you just need time to get through those things. You gotta be careful here because guess what? I know someone who blew out a trans line on their car here and leaked pretty much all of their transmission fluid. Ask me how I know. See that black car right there? There is another black car parked there. And it just may have been a Corvette. At this point, there was hardly any grab on the transmission. And about right here, I realized I'm in trouble. Got right here around a blind corner. I couldn't make it up the hill because there wasn't enough pressure in the trans. So I had to stop and turn around. Luckily the person coming up the hill, they were alert. Coasted down the hill and uh, got a tow truck. Got it all squared away. It was just a fitting that blew off the transmission line, but that was not a fun day at all. So up and coming, we got some Raptor videos. We sent it at the dunes. We got the KX out to the dunes. We're going to the desert again next week. Even though I've been rather immature on the street here, I've kind of been getting the urge for a street bike, like a Yamaha R7, or even just a ZX6R. today's video wanted to give you guys a quick little update as to why I disappeared had to get a plan in place to think about the future so now that the plan is in place it's just time to act on it so if you're into motorsports you're in the right place with 
with all that being said, join the club. And I'll see you in the next one. Four dollars and fifteen cents. That's some fat BS. What the? Thank you very much. You know who I'm talking to.